I've been thinking about the story of the prodigal son uh, recently. And if you don't know the story, it's, uh, it's Jesus' response to the question, um, why are you hanging out with sinners? Why do you hang out with the, the downcast and, and the lowly and the tax collectors and the sinners? And then in response to that, he tells three parables, three stories. And the third one being the parable of the prodigal son. And if you don't know that story, just quickly, it's a story of a father who has two sons. And the younger son comes to him and says, basically, I can't wait for you to die. I want my inheritance now. And the father gives it to him and he takes the money and he goes off and he squanders it and he wastes it. And we get this image that after he's wasted it, he's he's then looking after some pigs and he's and, and he's and he's really hungry and he's he's longing to eat what the pigs are eating, but no one's giving him any. And we get this kind of picture that he's at the lowest point of his life. And he finally, the Bible says, he comes to himself. He comes to the realization that well, actually, if I just go back to my father's house and become one of his servants, even even they have enough food to spare and yet here I am starving in this other country and, and he has this realization and so he kind of packs up and he goes back to his father's house and he has this prepared speech already and the Bible says that when the father sees him from a long way off that he comes running out to his son and he throws his arms around him and he starts kissing him and he's and the, the son goes into this rehearsed speech about how bad he is and oh, I've messed up and you know can I become one of your servants and and the father doesn't even entertain the conversation he just immediately asked for a robe to be brought to put on his son a ring to be put on and some shoes to put on all signs of authority and then they hold a party the older son who's been there the whole time working for his father hears all the noise of the party and the commotion and finds out it's because his brother's returns and is angry that his brother has returned and he says to his father you know I, i've been here this whole time but you never once threw a party for me and the father's response is well hang on all that i have is yours this is right that we celebrate because your brother was lost but now he's found he's he's died but now he's alive he's come back to us and for me it's fascinating because both brothers have an issue with it's the same issue for both brothers for the younger brother who's gone away and he's squandered it's all to do with a money issue a works issue he's gone off and he's wasted his money and in his head he goes well to make it okay with my father i'm going to work back the debt so i've I, i've messed up and i've wasted the money and to go get back into his favor into his house into his presence i'm going to work back the debt and i would argue that is exactly how we treat sin even if you've been a christian a while we still we still mess up on the fundamental concept of we are saved by grace and grace alone it's almost like well now we've been saved even though that was by grace now we kind of need to work our way back into god's favor when we mess up we still get caught up on the same issue as the younger brother and then for the older brother i think we are the same in that when we see god blessing other people when we see other people come to faith and God moving and blessing other people, sometimes we can have the same response. Hang on, haven't I been serving God for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years? Haven't I not been going to church every week and reading the Bible and praying? Haven't I not been a good Christian? Surely I deserve the blessing and God's favour. Not all these other people. And again, I've been here this whole time. Surely I've earned certain things. And it becomes... A work issue again and for me it's a lovely story of not only the heart of God's and how he treats us when we truly come to ourselves, as the Bible says and go back to him and we say God I've messed up I'm sorry and we get this beautiful picture of just complete forgiveness and brought straight back into the party and the presence of God's but it is also a reminder we can never forget that we are saved by grace and grace alone let us never forget. Let us never get past that. And so I just, I just kind of, my prayer, if you're watching this, uh, and you maybe you've been playing with God, maybe it's not been particularly serious, you've kind of had experience and, and you've kind of gone away from it, you've drifted away. I pray you have that moment of the younger brother. You come to your senses. You come back to God, knowing that you're going to receive forgiveness and authority and a place in his presence.
And if you've been a Christian a long time and maybe you're struggling then you find it hard to get your head around why is God blessing other people and you seem to be overlooked. I pray you understand and you hear the words of the Father in that story that all that he has is already yours. Don't miss out on the blessing and the party and the celebration when God blesses someone else. Because I think the enemy would love to keep us out of it. Um, and we start whinging and whining and all the rest of it. Um, wherever you are, come back into the presence of God. And as always, receive his grace. God bless you guys. We'll see you in the next video. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Your name is power Your name is healing Your name Every stronghold shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Oh, I just want to speak the name of Jesus over fear and all anxiety to every soul.
in every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I speak Jesus Yeah, I speak Jesus Oh, I speak Jesus I speak Jesus